Okay, in this video we're going to talk about relays. And over the years I've had numerous people contact me who buy these relay harnesses online but don't know how to hook it up. So in this video I'm just going to talk about it and what you need to identify to make sure that you got it hooked up right. So this wiring harness right here is actually designed for an HID kit and that is identified by here's your output plug right here for one headlight this is your output plug for another headlight now we already figured out what these two wires are so now we only got is this one left with the fuse and then this one here left this one here goes to the battery or any live power source that's on full time because it's got a fuse that way in case of a short the fuse will blow and this one here like I said since it's an HID kit these ones here will plug into your old headlight socket and these ones here will belong to a circuit that's fused as well so basically how it's going to work is the relay is essentially a switch the line to the relay is live always so what happens is you turn your headlights on in your dash it pulls the connector inside here to energize the relay which in turn once that happens pulses and sends power to these outputs right here so I got a 12 volt power supply in the corner here we're gonna hook this up I'm gonna show so you. hopefully this doesn't get too confusing now with the power supply I guess I should turn it down let's run about uh, 12 volts or try to get as close to it so I got the power line coming off to the main power on the relay here this one here's the jumper one that's coming from your input source or whatever you want to have connected to the relay like I said this power is full time and then this is one socket switch so I got the ground from this harness here the ground from the light plug and the ground for this LED light all tied into there so now how this works if I hit this on the main power and I have this up close to the relay so you could hear it click that's basically how it works if you were to go turn on your lights in the car this line would be energized and by energizing it you turn on that light disconnect it so that's basically how a relay works now I'm going to show you how the relay is wired so if you look on here we got 30, 87, 86, 85. 30 should be from the battery and 87 should be the one that's going out to the lights. So 87 would be the one that goes to here and then 86 will be the positive I believe that is connected to the harness here is going to have the input power so right now on the multimeter I have the multimeter connected to ground and continuity is confirmed and that's pin 85 pin 85 is ground so let's confirm that pin 86 is going to be the one coming from your source which is going to turn it on so right now I'm running, you know, millivolts right now. So I got it plugged in. Just like I said, it's going to connect it to this one right here. We're going to touch it. And then you're going to see that go to 12 volts. So there we got 12 volts. So 12 volts is number 86. That is your input source. So number 30, I bet you is the full-time power and just like I confirmed 30 is the top power because that is the pin right there boom and then 87 which I have it touching is the one that's going to go to the light itself so right now I'm going to connect it and then there you go I'm reading the voltage 10.16 volts right there and if I disconnect that, then I got no power. Go ahead. There you go, 10.2 volts. 
You can see right here, a simple search on Google will even tell you how to connect the relay in case if you can't figure it out. When you really think about it, a relay hooked up in your vehicle for off-road accessories and everything else is basically two switches. Because you got the switch that's going to throw the power to turn on the accessory you want and the relay is going to activate that. Basically what it does is that instead of hardwiring it to a battery and running heavy gauge wire inside your vehicle or on your motorcycle where you really don't need it or it might cause problems with fires, you know what I mean? This just makes it a little bit more safer to have a relay. And, you know, they're a little bit confusing at first, so I'm hoping this video kind of helps you guys out. I mean, you're going to have to have some sort of um, electrical knowledge in order to make this happen. But if you have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.